Good evening. It's Wednesday, November the 3rd, and today we are going to do the top 10 trending articles and videos on investor intel. You might actually be quite surprised by this, this list. I always am. Number 10 is Canada's Voyager Pharmaceuticals Breaking a Chinese Monopoly. This is an interview with Jack Lifton. He interviews the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals, Brent Willis. This company is doing a full supply chain for barium. Very interesting topic. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. For number nine, we have U.S. nuclear power generation at historical heights as investors buy uranium. This is written by Matt, Matthew Bolson from Australia, and he's highlighting some of the big movers in the uranium market as we speak. Number eight is written by a critical materials expert, Dr. David Truman. He writes, cesium, a critical metals and an opportunity for Avalon advanced materials. Cesium is a fascinating critical material. And if you don't know what it is, you'll see why so many people are reviewing Dave Truman's very informative piece. Number seven on Investor Intel this week is another Jack Lifton column titled North American Rare Earth Junior. Juniors consolidate capabilities to advance towards a total domestic supply chain. Now I'm just reading the headlines, but I'm pretty certain he's talking about the Search Minerals MOU with USA Rare Earth and how this joint, this partnership basically creates a supply uh, supply chain for the rare earth uh, market in North America. Number six was uh, guest editor, very talented newsletter writer, Byron King, does a top five outstanding Yukon gold and silver mining names and actually outlines five companies we should all be looking at. Speaking of that, I plan on re-reviewing this list and reaching out to these companies. I'm not sure that they know that Byron King has selected them. Number five, most read was written by yours truly. This one was titled, China pays full value for neolithium. Here comes the bull market. Wrote this on October 10th. And I think there's a great deal of market history to prove that my call was indeed correct. Number four, Biden, the Chinese raw material hunt and the massive monazite results of Appia rare earths and uranium. Written by analyst Dean Bristow out of Alberta. Excellent writer. I always enjoy his columns. Number three was an update by Matthew Bolson on Linus Rare Earths with their record profits and growing to meet the EV demand. Number two, also by Matthew Bolson, Australian government extends a $2 billion loan facility for the critical materials industry. And number one, I think I need to have a, a gong here when I hit number one. The top five rare earth companies for 2021. This is definitely a must read, or at least it appears to be from our trending. We have 39 comments. It was written by Frederick Kozak, who's now the president of Appia Energy, Rare, or Appia Rare Earths and Uranium. They have changed their name. And uh, this has been trending number one since it was published January 8th. Thank you so much for joining us this week. It's November the 3rd and 2021.